Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create this cute high bun. Start with brushing the hair, then use the heat protection Osis flat liner. Because I'm gonna to work with this healthy non-colored hair, I'm gonna to use this crimper. It makes more volume and it's uh, easier to work with this hair after using this crimper. So I love it. I crimp more parts by the roots and less the length. Take your favorite volume powder and use it for back combing hair into volume in the front part. Backcomb comb gently and hold the hair tight while back combing. Avoid using too much hair powder. It would be sticky and it wouldn't be so nice. Comb the hair gently and spray a bit of volume up spray over the all hair and comb again. Divide the little front pieces of hair. Start shaping the upper front part. After you reach your desired shape of upper front part, secure well with bobby pins. Take it from the front and finish shaping with your fingers. Put a drop of all stain belt cream to your fingers. Take the side hair to your hands and brush them gently and prepare for twisting from the face. You have to twist them up in the shape from the face, like you see in the video. Secure this twist with the bobby pins. Repeat this on the second side. If the surface of side hair is frizzy, secure it with volume up spray a bit and comb. So we have the second twist and we just have to secure it with bobby pins well to be well secured. So now we are going to check it from the front again and pull up little pieces of hair from the upper front part. You can use volume up spray and your fingers to make little pieces more defined. Now take a part of the hair as you see in the video and brush them gently. Make a ponytail and secure it well with elastic. So 
Split the ponytail into two sections and twist them. Put the twist around the elastic, as you see in the video. Secure all the new bun with closed bobby pins. Put this end into clear elastic and hide it. If this end is a bit longer, you can use two clear elastics. So now take your silhouette pump spray which helps you to reach more clean look. Now it's time to crimp the bottom hair. Also a bottom part in this hairstyle looks better with a bit of volume. Take your volume powder and vacuum the bottom hair. Put the all hair up and spray and comb their surface to make it cleaner. Keep holding this all hair up all this time. Now put this hair into clear elastic and pull this clear elastic over the bun. Pull out the little pieces of bottom part <laughs> to the volume. Twist the rest of the hair and try to make it more sleek with silhouette pump spray and fingers. And now turn it around the bun and secure with bobby pins. Yes, I use closed bobby pins again. Clean the end with the silhouette spray fingers or comb and put it to the clear elastic and hide again. How to hide these ends? I go with the bobby pins through the upper bun part and I Put it over the end so I hide it. Make sure all the bun is well secured with bobby pins. If needed, use more of them. Now 
it's almost the end and we are going to curl the front hair. Use the heat protection and curl them a bit. I like to curl them from the face on both sides. If curls are too tight, just start rotating with your iron a bit later, not on the top of the head, just a bit lower. I left there a bit more of these uh, little pieces of hair because I really love to decorate a hairstyle with a bit of these pieces. So keep watching how it looks. So now start to style the front pieces with suet spray and your fingers. Clean any messy or non-perfect uh, parts of the hairstyle with pore comb, suet spray and fingers. You can also add there more depth. So every little defined piece of hair, which I uh, pull over the hairstyle, make it look more fresh and more airy and more modern. I also like to clean some parts with the end of this comb, so I put the frizzy hair to the gap between hair. And now it's time to add more deepness to the hairstyle. Use the Osis Session Spray and make a deepness with your fingers a bit more than desired, then spray into the hole. And it's very important, don't forget to shake with hairsprays, especially with this strong one. In case our fingers couldn't make uh, deepness enough, you can use U-pins to fix it a bit longer, then spray it with session spray and take them off later. Now I'm taking uh, another bottle, it looks very similar but it's not another one <laughs> and it's a uh, spray for shine so you can use it uh, as a finish spray to make it more shiny and more glossy and uh, this is uh, the result, I hope you like it and bye bye! <laughs>